What's up, Fabu fam, and welcome back to my channel. You guys, we are currently sitting in my new apartment. This is so exciting! If you guys want an apartment tour, then comment, give me an apartment tour, bitch, down below. So you guys have clicked on this video because you guys want to know how I edit my photos. I'm not kidding, this is one of the most highly requested things ever. You guys send me so many DMs asking, what I do and honestly, it's pretty simple I only use about like four apps and one of them is Instagram I used to kind of have like an Instagram theme a couple years ago But I stopped doing that because I don't know if you guys remember but there was this effect comment down below If you guys know what I'm talking about there was this effect on our iPhones. It was called fade It was like one of the effects on like your camera and it was the most beautiful effect ever. It made every single picture look bomb and I just did it to all of my photos and that was like the most synchronized my photos have ever looked. So the day that they decided to completely take that effect away from our iPhones was a very sad day for me. But then I got over it. So the three apps that I'm using to edit other than Instagram are Facetune, Visco Cam, and Airbrush. And sometimes I don't even use the app Airbrush because I only do one thing on it. And then lastly, I always use Instagram because the saturation on Instagram, let me tell you, it's really good. Also, if your girl's telling you she doesn't use Facetune, she's lying. All right, so I'm gonna screen share with you today and move to the right and let's get this party started. So I took a couple stupid photos of myself today. I really don't like them, but I took them for the purpose of this video. So after you've taken about about 400 photos you head on over to the chosen ones and this is really helpful for me because I always look on my favorites to just choose the ones that I like these are the ones that I favorited honestly I'm not a fan of any of these but I think this one's my favorite no pun intended okay so the first app that I'm gonna head on over to is facetune that zero dollars a month facetune not the 299 one that one is really confusing to me I don't know why there's so much controversy over facetune like if you want to use it then use it so I'm gonna head on over to my favorites Press that favorites, zoom into my face, and let's examine what we can do here. First, I'm gonna take the smooth tool and make sure to tap when you're using the smooth tool because it just comes out way more natural. And I kinda like the bumps to still show a little bit in my face because it's more realistic. And then I do my neck as well because don't forget your neck, ladies. Okay, I'm pressing the before and after so you can kinda see what's going on. Just smoothed it out a little bit. Then, my favorite thing ever, the details tool. I go in into my eyes and just detail my eyes. This brings way more dimension back to my eyes, which I love. And then I always detail my lips and the tip of my nose. And then I zoom out and I think this is good for Facetune. This is what I love about daytime pictures because I don't ever need to Facetune my photo as much. All right, the next app that I'm using is Airbrush. And this is the one I was talking about that I can only use during the day. And I'll show you why right now. So what I do is I just press that magic tool and it pretty much does the editing for me. I'll show you the before and after, see? It kind of like chiseled out my face a little bit, but it's like the slightest difference, but I love it. It also brought more detail to my eyes, which I also love. Okay, and now we're at Visco Cam. You guys, Visco Cam is life. I would say that Visco Cam is the only app that I use when it comes to like color affecting my photos. Is that a word? And I bought all of the effects, so there's like a shit ton. You just can like scroll through all of them but i favorite the ones that i like i know this one looks crazy but sometimes the effects look really crazy but if you bring it down all the way to like a one or a two it gives really nice coloring to the photo see the before and after you see that boom so i would say that c1 u5 and c6 are the ones that i use the most but it kind of depends on the color of the photo on what you go for c6 is my all-time favorite i use it for a majority of my pictures but for daytime pictures it doesn't really look that good like kind of washes me out but i'm going to show you a picture at night just to give you an idea of what it looks like because it's stunning anyways i'm going to head back to u5 and then i'm going to leave it at like a 3.5 and it's looking pretty nice okay so this is the before and after it's the slightest difference, but I think it really does look good. And then I head on over to Instagram, and this one I'm gonna put the full photo. So on Instagram, I always up the saturation at least to like a four or five. I love the saturation on Instagram. For some reason, I can't find another app that does it as beautifully as Instagram does. It doesn't make you look orange, it just makes you look really tan. And then I'm gonna bring the shadows down to like a negative six. And I'm gonna sharpen up the photo just a little to 10. Okay, I screenshotted it so I could show you guys. This is the before, this is after Facetune, Airbrush, and Visco, and then this is after Instagram. So that's basically what I do. If it's too much for you, it's too much. If it's too little, it's too little. It's really up for preference. Like, whatever you like to do to your photo, I just really like looking tan, so that's what I do. I also wanna go back into Visco Cam 
and this is like one of my photos I've already posted on Instagram and show you guys how amazing the C6 app is at nighttime. I usually bring it down to like a five and this is the before and after. Isn't it just like the most beautiful light? This is usually the effect that I use on most of my photos. When you guys go on my Instagram, a majority of my pictures that are taken at night or with like a higher contrast, I would say, this is the effect that I'm using. I just think it's so pretty and it adds a lot of life to the photo. All right, and that's about it. Just a quick and easy video for you guys. If you guys have any more questions on things that I didn't cover, then make sure to comment down below and I will definitely get that answered for you. Huge shout out to my booze, my beautiful yous for always watching my videos and supporting me. If you guys would like to be a part of the Fabu fan, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to follow me in between uploads and see a little more of my pictures, then my Instagram is at Sigourney Lazaroff. And until then, I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.